What's up everybody? I'm Megan Zimba from MTD CNC and as you can tell we're here in cold Wisconsin in front of the Chippewa Valley Technical College. We're about to enter and talk to Tony McKetty who is from Qualicom and talk about the importance of partnerships with programs here at CVTC. As you guys know, we have a skills gap going on in manufacturing, and it's these types of partnerships that are really gonna help set up the success of our future in the industry. So let's go inside. We're gonna talk to some of the students and also Dave Thompson, who is one of the lead instructors for the program. See you inside. Hey Tony, how are you doing? I'm doing well, how are you? I'm doing great. Thank you for joining me today at Chippewa Valley Technical College. So I know that Qualicom has a special relationship with them. So can you get into the history of how this relationship started and why it was important for Qualicom to really partner up with this program? Sure, so back in September at IMTS down in Chicago at McCormick Place, I had some of the students stop by our booth asking questions about fluids and everything. I noticed that they had badges that said students. So started asking them questions. Where are you from? What do you guys do up there? And I have some business up here because I'm a senior sales engineer for Qualchem and I cover Wisconsin. So I offered to come up and take a look at their shop. After taking a look at the shop, one, I was amazed at the size of it and the technology that they have here. I've never seen a shop in Chicago and where I'm from or in Wisconsin that has this much technology. So I offered to come up, took a look at the shop, and I made recommendations on a product. And they're using one of our newest products here for their, all of their CNC's, Extreme Cut 240. And okay. It's working very well from them and it's getting our name out there, showing our exposure, how we like to support schools. Uh, I grew up in the industry, my dad was in it for a long time. I've been in it for over 28 years. And I also have a son in high school that has been in a manufacturing program for four years. And he is possibly gonna be following in the family footsteps and joining manufacturing. So it's important to me to get the younger generations into manufacturing. It's got a black eye as a dirty, dark environment. It's yeah. not that way anymore. As you see here, it's clean, it's bright newer equipment, good equipment, makes it fun to work at. Yeah, it's fascinating how similar this looks like a regular shop that you would see in industry. So I think it's cool that the kids are getting that type of experience before they're thrown to the wolves, I guess you can say, right. because I feel like with, um, and nothing against four-year university degrees, I have a graduate degree, but I feel like some of those programs really don't give the students that type of experience before they get into the industry they wanna get into. So they really struggle a little bit trying to find their way, whereas here, they're learning all of the basics, they're they're then moving up to more complicated stuff and they're really ready to, to hit the ground running once they graduate from right. here. And that's so how I was really cool. impressed with how they run the program here where I've always said you got to start on a manual machines, graduate from manual machines up to CNC's. Yeah. That's that's the true way of learning how to be a machinist. It, yeah. it is an art, it is a craft and you need to learn it from the basics first. So what sort of questions are they asking you when they saw you at IMTS? Do you remember some of uh, them? Just like basically what are coolants, you know, oh, okay. what type of coolants because what they use here is what's called the semi synthetic which is an oil-based and water-based mm -hmm. product. There's full synthetics. And they just sort of asking an explanation on that. Why isn't it oil anymore? Just different things about the technology that we offer. And they were just picking my brain about what are metalworking fluids and yeah. what do you guys do? So you've been in the industry long enough to know the history of it where, you know, we started out with certain programs at the high school level. And then at some point we decided to let some of those programs grow, right. which really hurt our industry as manufacturers and engineers. I'm starting to see a shift back to pulling those programs into high school again. And there's also discussions around, you know, hitting younger generations at the elementary or middle school level, whether it's just introducing them to the basic concepts of certain processes. Why is it important for you on a personal level to really connect the next generation to programs like this? Because we have the skills gap, as you know. So why is it personal to you to connect them with? Personal to me, because like I said, my dad was in the industry for close to 50 years. I've been in it for almost 30 years now. And like you said, there's a large gap. And, and I said before, there's a black eye. People think it's a dirty environment. This is a good job opportunity. You can start at the bottom like I did. I start out manual machines, work my way up. I was a programmer. I was in charge of tooling. Then I got into sales and continued in sales for a long time now. So it's not, it's a start. It's a great industry. And there's a lot you can do to grow within that industry. Mm -hmm. It's not just standing at a machine all day. Some enjoy that and you can make good money. And it's a very steady job because there's such a need for them. So what would you say to other companies who aren't partnered with programs like this here at Chippewa Valley? What would you tell them to to really consider 
um, trying to partner with a program like this. Start an apprenticeship program. I know there's some in the area where I'm at where I've helped the school there, the high school there, get into other companies. You know, get these, get people involved there because the younger generation is the future generation. Start their apprenticeship, reach out to your high schools, find a technical college. There's a program down in us that start with through a three year apprenticeship. Get involved with those programs and start mm -hmm. finding these kids that are not really college bound. They're looking for a blue collar job and this is a great industry for it. No, I think with manufacturers, because everything is so busy, that excuse of why well, I don't really have a lot of time to do things. Can you just briefly describe how time consuming or not time consuming it has been for Qualicam to have a partnership like this here at CVTC? Like how has that process been for you to, to partner up with them? It really hasn't been that hard because you learn about these programs through channels, you know, you're at different companies and they, oh yeah, this kid's there, this kid's at this program, that program. So we just reach out to those places and offer our services. You know, we can help you guys. We can train your people how to use yeah. fluids properly, get you the right fluids that are gonna work for the materials that you're cutting, stuff that's gonna stay in the sumps and not go bad and cause dermatitis, things like that. So but it's really easy to get, get into the place. There's not like an extra mound of paperwork that you have to go through there's to get not. it set up. No, no, so we'll work with you and do whatever we can to help you out. So anyone who's outside of manufacturing, like banking companies or insurance companies, what would you say to them to really get them excited about maybe supporting or partnering programs like this? Well, and one thing is, as we talked with some of the students earlier, they're looking to start a machine shop later. They're gonna need a bank to start yeah. up that machine shop. They're gonna need funding. So get involved with these programs because again, they're the future of America. Manufacturing drives this country. If we're not manufacturing our own parts and making our own stuff, our economy is going to struggle so get involved it helps build up the community and everybody that anywhere has something that's been made in a machine shop in their house in their car so get involved awesome well tony thank you so much for taking the time to join us no today problem. on mtd cnc so again if you are struggling to get workers in your door one of the best ways to really get your name out there is to partner with programs like this one at Chippewa Valley Technical College. So you get in front of the students, you can help create the curriculum, and you can also possibly get some of the parts that you're making for your customers made in the classroom. So be sure to check it out, get involved, and don't forget to thank a machinist today. Thank you.